Hi everyone, this is Eddie from Sound Effects in West Warwick, Rhode Island, and we're bringing you today the Kenwood DMX7704S. Uh, this radio is pretty cool because number one, it's mechless. It doesn't have any moving parts in it. It won't take a CD and the radio screen doesn't come out, which usually means it's less to break. Uh, the other really cool thing about it is that it'll do Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And it'll do both of those from the same cable. So that means it all requires from you, once you put this radio in your car, is the cable and the phone. So we'll go ahead, we'll start the demo off with Apple CarPlay. So what I'm going to do is plug in an iPhone 6S, that's what we're using right now. And as you can see, it's seamless, it pops right up. As if it was in your car, you would just tap the CarPlay logo. And this is the screen that you come to. Now I've made videos of CarPlay in the past, so you can see those on my uh, channel if you wanted to go in and take a little bit deeper look at how CarPlay works in itself. But we'll go over just some quick things that Kenwood has added a touch to. As you can see, it has the Kenwood Home button here. That'll bring you right back to the Kenwood radio. And it still has the same functions of all other CarPlay radios where it runs, it runs entirely off of your iPhone. So without the iPhone, you have nothing. And it does work plugged in. So you're able to see contacts or make calls via Siri or have Siri read your messages to you. All right. The other options we have are podcasts and audiobooks. Also, if you use Spotify, that'll show up here. Um, there are, I believe, two other apps that are available for CarPlay, as long as you have them. So we're gonna bring it back to the Kenwood Home, and just to show exactly how easy this is, I'm going to unplug the iPhone, and we're gonna plug a Android phone in while we're using the radio. That Android phone's going to be a Galaxy Note 5. So hold on one second and you'll see CarPlay disappear. Um, I'm just grab me the cord. And here we go. And you're gonna see an option for Android Auto come up on the radio. Now this can be done in exactly real time, which is great. This is something new to the industry, so. You have a friend in your car, you don't have to worry about switching cords in the back of the radio or two different things. So, a couple, I've gone over Android Auto also in the past on videos, so if you wanted to see a little more in depth on that, you can also watch that video on the channel. But the point of this video is mainly to show you that, how easy it is to switch between the two devices, between CarPlay or between Android Auto. Uh, and all it takes is switching the cord out, which is kind of revolutionary. Um, this radio makes things a lot easier than it has been in the past. And it still has some of the basic features. You still have your HD radio, that's there. You still have Sirius XM, that's available. And you still have the old iPod connectivity, along with Spotify and Pandora, but you wouldn't use those if you had an Android or CarPlay available to you. Some of the other awesome things this radio does, and we're not just talking about audio quality or um, you know connecting a phone to it, this radio will actually take a dash cam from Kenwood and the model number for that is the DRV-N520. That dash cam can plug right into the back of this radio and it can be turned on while driving or turned on while at a stop. Um, it has a couple different automatic turn on safety modes, which is really cool. But I think one of the most drawing parts is that with this radio on, you can actually open up the camera app. So say someone's tailgating you or something's going on behind you and you could snap a photo with that rear camera which is kind of amazing. Um, it will actually come up as one of these options. Everything you're seeing grayed out right here is something that requires a piece called a IdataLink Maestro. And that's gonna, what that does is it, it networks between the radio and the CAN system in your car, which is the computer system. And some of the newer cars, it'll actually allow your radio to control all the things you see on the dash, like your gauges and your climate control parking assist or any factory satellite radio the vehicle may have come with. So as you can see, this radio is quite a powerhouse for the price. I mean, we carry it for only $4.99, which is uh, really good compared to a lot of the CarPlay radios that came out at first. Um, they started, I remember, at like $7.49, $6.99. This thing doesn't have any parts that you have to worry about in the future. It's probably the most solid buy, I think, on our entire, uh, on our entire radio board. Um, it works flawlessly, we haven't had any issues with it, uh, and it's been doing great for us. I mean, when it comes to systems, it has three four-volt pre-outs, so you don't have to worry about that in the future. 
Um, and it comes with the capability to plug into Escort radar detectors. So, I mean, you could pretty much add anything you wanted to this radio. It keeps on going and going. Uh, I think it's one of the best options to start out with and then go from there and add things on. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. If you'd like to see me go more in depth on this exact radio, just let us know in the comment section. Leave it there for us. And if you'd like to see more radios, you'd like to see maybe some how-tos, let me know and like and subscribe to the channel and sound effects will put more out. So thanks, man. Have a great day.